and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Good to be coming to you by the way of WVCT Radio, where victory comes through 91.5 FM in Keevy, Kentucky. And also by the way of WVTN, that's World Television Network, right here in Keevy, Kentucky, 968 West City Dam Road, Keevy, Kentucky. And also... Um, glad to be coming to you by the World Wide Web. And our, to pick us up live on the web, you can go to www.thegospeleagle.com. All one, all one word, thegospeleagle.com. So you can view us or listen to three different ways. And we're so glad to have you tuned in and on board with us. God is a wonderful God, and he is surely worth serving. And when God's word is coming to you, then you know what? Then grab on to it. Grab on to the richness of God's word. And I'll tell you what, it'll be just, it'll be so sweet if you'll just grab on to the word of God and just get all that nectar out of it. And even when somebody's preaching or teaching the word or singing the word, oh, just receive it. Just receive it into your heart. And I'll tell you what, the word will do a work in you. It is so good, the good word of God. One word, one word from God can change your whole life. Can change any situation. One word from God can change any situation that you're in. Praise God. God is so good. And God's given us his word to instruct us so we can grow. He's given us Jesus that died and paid for our sins so that we could be in right fellowship with him. And then he's given us the Holy Spirit to reveal his word to us. To guide us into all truth. Guide us into all truth. Praise God. So you know what? We can't lose. We can't lose because we've got our Father God. And we've got God the Son in Jesus Christ. And God the Holy Spirit and the precious Holy Spirit. And we've got God's Word. And the Bible says not one jot or one tittle would ever pass away from God's Word. It said heaven and earth would pass away, but not one jot or tittle. That means one dotting of the I or one crossing of the T will never fail, will never pass away. Every bit of it will be fulfilled. Praise God. There's one thing in this world that stands sure. And that's God's word. One thing that stands sure. That's the precious word of God. Amen. And it can come to you in several different ways. By reading it, by hearing it preached or sung, by the Holy Spirit speaking to you, speaking you God's word. So I'll tell you what, a Christian cannot lose unless they purpose to lose. Unless they just stop reading the word and stop living for God. I'm telling you what, there's benefits in serving God. Somebody might say, well, are you in it for the benefits? You better believe it. Because it's going to keep me out of a, an awful, awful place called hell. It's going to keep me out of there, first of all and foremost. Praise God. And then serving God, my life is going to be much better. I'm going to have peace. Peace and contentment in life. No matter who comes or who goes or who stays. You know what? You can have peace in your life and be satisfied. Be content. Just being in your Father. 
you know what? A lot of people have lost loved ones, and they get depressed around the holidays, and they miss their loved ones. But I'll tell you something. God will fulfill every need that you have in your life. I don't care if, if, if you've been divorced or you've lost loved ones. It doesn't matter. God will fill that need in your life. I'm telling you what, he'll, he'll be a husband to you. He'll be a wife to you. He'll be a parent to you. He'll be a child to you. He will fulfill that need. If you've lost any of that, God will fill that need. And he will help you to be content, help you to be satisfied. <clears throat> because the Bible says that he's a present help in trouble present help and it says to seek him it says when you seek him with all of your heart you'll find him and when you find him you find life and life more abundantly praise God when you seek him with all of your heart and honor him make him more important than anything in the world put him first in your life Tell him how much you love him. Say, God, I love you, and I want you to be Lord of my life. I put you first in my life, first before anything else or anybody else. Because you know what? God said, those who honor me, will I, I will honor. It's important to seek God. It's important to seek him. It's important to draw nigh to him and let him draw nigh to you, like the Bible says. Cast in all your care upon him. First Peter 5 and 7. Because he cares for you. Cast in all your care upon him. And when you cast it on him, guess what? You don't have to sit and worry about it. You don't have to cry another tear. You don't have to worry another day. If you trust him. You know, and I've had the Lord speak to me. I've, I've prayed about things before. And I said, Lord, I put this in your hands. I'm trusting you with it. And then you know what? I happened to start thinking about it again. A little bit of worry tried to attack me. And God said, are you trusting me? Yes, Lord, I am. I am not going to worry another minute about this. I'm trusting you. Everything worked out great. Praise God. It happens when you put your trust in him. When you put your trust in you, Lord. And you know, God knows the ones that love him. He knows them that are his. He knows the ones that put their trust in him. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, I think it's in St. John 8, somewhere along there. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you, make you free. But if you continue in my word, and see, he was talking to those Jews that believed. 